The colder months can wreak havoc on our bodies, particularly our skin. So today we're meeting with a beauty expert who will show us how this winter we can prepare, protect, and preserve the skin we're in. Khadija, first things first, your skin is phenomenal. So I'm obviously gonna believe everything you say. Um, I would love to hear more about your skincare journey and your journey as a beauty expert. My first beauty memories were linked to my mom. So we're from West Africa, so she would make cocoa butter, shea butter, you'd always smell that in the kitchen. But I never had good skin growing up. My skin just didn't look good. It was something I was always really, really insecure about. But then once I graduated with my degree in engineering and started my consulting job and I was traveling full time, I was like, okay, it's my time to shine. My skin's gonna look great. And it had never looked worse. Just like being on the plane, traveling to different climates, I just was so frustrated with the way that my skin looked. So I think what started out of research, out of just frustration, turned into love and a fascination. So I would travel, I think in one year, I traveled to over 25 countries. Oh, wow. And I would sneak away on the weekends and on the evenings, get facials and learn about the different skincare practices and techniques from all over the world. But it was interesting that a lot of the anchor ingredients that they would use were of what my mom showed me early on. And they're all natural too, All right? natural, all really good ingredients. And it was just uh, incredible to get to learn about like the ingredients in their purest form and be able to leverage this knowledge to then launch a skincare line with the purpose of helping give people the confidence in the skin that I didn't have, and then just leveraging that knowledge to be able to create incredible ingredients that are all really clean, vegan, and then focused on maximum absorption. I love to hear that. Now, let's move on to winter skincare. Why is winter so harsh on our skin? And how should our skincare routine differ from the winter months as opposed to the rest of the year? So I think for winter, you're probably experiencing things like dryness, just like dull, look, tired looking skin, just like the, the wind, Raising the, hand the coldness. <laughs> so there's a lot of external factors that coldness brings that you have to just be prepared to combat. Now, a little birdie told me that you have a five step program for us to achieve healthy winter skin. So let's get into it. What's the first step? So I think that one of the most important things to incorporate in your winter months is exfoliating. You have the dry, dead, flaky skin that's probably sitting at the surface of your skin, but you don't want to use something really harsh and grainy. So what I love to use is Basquiat's Peeling Gel. It's really gentle and you can use it every single day and it just gives your skin like the nice canvas to be able to absorb the products that you put on after. Because that's so important, right? To have a really great canvas because that's how your makeup is going to look really yeah. good. If the skin within is looking right and tight, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's step two? So the next product I like to use is just making sure that your skin is really fresh and cleansed. So I love our Kubrick K Purifying Duo. I think that it's important to get a cleanser that doesn't strip your skin of its natural moisture, but that's really gonna clean it and keep it really nice and hydrated. So I think the next step is to make sure you use a moisturizer that really like locks in. So I like an emollient, like a shea butter or an humectant that just helps keep your moisture locked in all day long. What is our fourth step? I love, love, love to incorporate an oil, more so at nighttime. The Ordinary has a really good rose hip seed oil and it just really gives your skin the extra moisture that it needs, as well as like rose hip seeds oil is really good for texture as well. And lastly, what is the fifth step of your five step program? So I think no matter what time of day, no matter what year, sunscreen is essential. And I feel like I have to preach this because it's the number one cause to aging is sun exposure and light exposure. So sunscreen year round, I love Supergoop. They have a really clear, really good texture, 45 SPF sunscreen that I apply summer and winter. You know, I feel like as a black woman, and I think this is true for many other women of color, oftentimes we're like, well, our skin doesn't burn yeah. or we can't feel it burning, so we're not going to use sunscreen. But that still speeds up the aging process if you don't use it. Correct? And not just aging, but I think that like darker skin tones are susceptible to hyperpigmentation, acne scarring. So by putting sunscreen on it will help fade those marks. With that being said, however, it's not just about the products, I think you emphasize something called lymphatic massage. Can you tell us what that is? Your lymphatic system holds all the toxins and stores all that in different nodes within your body. And it requires mechanical intervention to move that around. So by massaging that away from your face or your body, it helps alleviate stress. It helps give your skin a clear complexion. It just improves the tone and texture of your skin. So 
I think one part of is understanding ingredients and then the next part is really understanding and maximizing how you apply your products on your face. All right, sis, these tips were fabulous. I'm gonna be out here just doing my thing. My skin is gonna look fantastic thanks to you.